next comes the date format the date format will be required in another function so we need to understand this when you're looking at the date format basically 12 31 1990 do you understand it is not ddmmyy because month cannot be 31 so the us format is mmddyy the us format by default is mmddyy i can do a second enter to make it a european format where it becomes ddmmyy so you can change the format of how you enter the date in the calculator with an mmddyy or a ddmmyy so us is going to be us is mmddyy euro is europe is ddmmyy i personally prefer the ddmmyy format because it becomes easier for me because i'm used to that particular format so if you want you can keep your date changed to the ddmmyy format everybody with me on this you could scroll down and this one is a kind of a useless one 1000 is written as one comma triple zero over here if i change to zero it somehow becomes one full stop triple zero and then there is a comma and then there is a comma it is not required it is not going to be used by you so i'll set it back to the default second enter us and i'll not bother about it so don't bother about it there are a lot of functions which we may not be using chn and aos please do not change this please do not change this let it remain to the default chn i'll just tell you quickly what it means chn means chain so when I'm doing 2 plus bracket open 1 minus bracket open 3 divided by bracket open 4 divided by bracket close bracket close bracket close etc. If I'm doing a function of this sort, the CHN format is going to do it exactly in the serial order. 1 divided by bracket open 2 divided by 3. So it will do 2 divided by 3. Or let's say 1 plus bracket open 2 divided by 3 bracket close. CHN will do it in the serial order within the brackets the way you're mentioning. And the second AOS is algebraic I just uh, algebraic operating system AOS stands for algebraic operating system and that is going to follow board mass and all for you that is going to create confusions you'll not be sure of your answer so please don't bother uh, don't bother about it second enter I'll keep it to CHN just because I wanted to cover everything I'm talking about this but you're not supposed to be bothering about this part everybody with me so you're uh, so let's just quickly go through it DC is decimal places that is six we'll try to set it to that GD or DG or radians we'll keep it at default uh, we don't need to bother about it euro uh, DDMMYY is euro MMDDYY is US we I will personally try to keep it DDMMYY it depends on you us will keep it as it is will not bother and chn will keep it as it is will not bother second enter is used to is used to set the modes everybody comfortable with this much everybody comfortable with this much everyone sure all right moving forward moving forward let me do a few uh, easy uh, sections let's say second rnd rand if you see on the divide button you have the term rand written which stands for random which stands for random so the moment i click second rand it generates any random number between 0 and 1 it generates any random number between 0 and 1 see it generates a random number between 0 and 1 so this is going to be required when we do when we study simulations and all you will understand that random numbers needs to be generated so the second rand is going to generate random numbers again you're not going to be using it as such you're not going to be using it as such then just a second all right then a couple of more basic stuff say for example if i'm talking about the date function over here on top of one if you see there is a date function given second date you see date one and date two is given and then you have the dbd and actual so basically what happens you need to enter date one and date two and it will give you the days between dates dbd stands for days between dates and there are two formats say for example now i have the ddmmyy format 31st let's say we'll talk about today's date today's date is let's say 25th of june 25 dot just see how i enter the date there is a format in which you enter the date 25.0617 will make it 25.0617 you cannot put 25.06.17 25.0617 enter makes it 25th of june 2017 25.06 uh, enter and then scroll down to the date 2 let's say i'll leave it 31.1217 so i want to calculate the number of remaining days in this year enter scroll down 
days between compute is 189 days. There are 189 days between today's date and 31st of December 2017. I scroll down again and now this is actual days. Suppose I press second enter, you will understand these portions requirements in the fixed income section. Suppose I press second enter, it will treat the year to have 360 days and every month to have 30 days. And now I again scroll back and press compute. Instead of 189 days, I have only 186 days because every month is being treated as a 30 day month and 360 day year. 30 day month and 360 day year then this is the day between dates and second enter I can set the actual number of back to actual number of days and again scroll down and compute the days between dates and that gives me 189 days everybody comfortable till here sure it is not a very useful function in the fixed income section at times when we calculate accrued interest etc we use this function are we all comfortable till here all right now let's say the second profit. I'm just used doing some easy functions quickly so that I can move to the other functions also. Now this is CST, SEL and MAR. It's again another useless function to be very honest because you're not going to be using it that option, uh, often. 100 is my cost. Scroll down. My selling price is 120. Scroll down. Sorry. Second, I by mistake pressed another button. So second profit again. See if you do even if you switch off and switch on your calculator, your numbers will not get deleted. Your values will not get deleted. Arrow down cost is 100 I entered selling prices 120 I entered margin compute 16.67%. It is not profit percentage. It is a margin that is given by this one. So cost selling price margin you can compute say for example if my margin is equal to 20 enter what is my selling price compute 125 so entering cost selling price and margin and that could do the trick again not very useful function all right now if i switch on the calculator switch off switch on and if i go again to the profit the values have not been removed if you want to remove the values from any bracket where you have stored say for example second date see the dates that i entered is still over here if you want to erase any portion i am inside the date right now if you see on the cc button there is clear work written over here there is clear work written over here on this button so all i need to do is second cc and you see all the values are stored back to default i go to second profit i go inside the profit button second three profit second cc and everything gets wiped out so you have to go inside a particular function in order to do delete them second cc is going to do the trick second cc is going to do the trick is everybody comfortable till here but for the n i y y p v p m t f v functions second tvm will work second clear work does not work because you're not going inside anywhere these buttons are given to you separately because they are very useful functions over here are we all comfortable till here everyone sure all right now let me get into a couple of other functions let's say let me do another easy one for you second break even now in the break even function fixed cost variable cost per unit profit that you require quantity required will show up over here let me say fixed cost is equal to 100 enter let me do the example variable cost is 2 per unit price per unit is let's say 3 3 so basically his price is 3 variable cost is 2 per unit you are getting 1 so your break even quantity should be 100 I hope you guys can follow everyone the selling price variable cost is 2 fixed cost is 100 price is 3 so 1 is a contribution per unit and 100 is a fixed cost to be recovered so if my target profit is 0 what is the quantity required so you leave the profit as 0 because target profit is 0 to calculate break even quantity you calculate quantity compute 100 units suppose my target profit is 20 enter my quantity required is 120 suppose I have 800 quantities being uh, 800 units being uh, sold profit compute 700 is a profit for 800 units so all you need to do is fixed cost variable cost per unit price per unit profit and quantity there will be one unknown factor which you can calculate if you're calculating break-even units please leave the profit to be equal to zero by default are we okay till here that is break even again these functions you're not supposed to be dependent on the calculator you will be actually faster if you're doing it yourself excuse me all right 
moving forward let's say percentage change now old value new value will give you the percentage change it's again a very stupid function 100 is the old value let's say 110 is the new value enter i'm over here percentage change on the button 5 right scroll down percentage change is equal to 10 100 was p0 110 is p1 and you get the percentage change but what is what if if the pd that is the number of periods number of periods is equal to let's say 2 in that case the percentage changes 4.88 because per period in two periods 100 became 110 so what is the percentage change per period so period is the number of periods if i do let's say i'll press the percentage sign it becomes into 1 by 100 plus 1 is equals to this and square that is equal to 1.10 so it's working percentage change is working did you see so I just converted that into the percentage format plus 1 in whole square. So 1 becomes 1 1.0488 in 1 period. So in 2 period 1.10. That is what we calculated in the percentage change. Second ICONV is interest conversion. Second ICONV is interest conversion. These are very easy functions. Most of these you are not going to be using very often. You are not going to be using these very often. Right. But they are easy functions. So let me just show it to you. But try to be faster than the calculator. Don't be dependent. If you can, it's okay. You can practice these functions and use it where required. Like the date function might be still useful in the accrual interest calculation in the bond section. But, but interest conversion, profit, break even, percentage change, I think you are better off doing it by yourself than on the calculator. It's more irritating and time consuming on the calculator. That is my personal recommendation. Interest conversion, suppose the nominal rate is equal to, let's say, 4%. Going down, and suppose the conversion rate or let me take the 12 that is easier 12 is the nominal rate per annum the conversion the uh, the coupon per period or the conversion the amount of time you get interest per period is let's say equals to 2 then you compute the effective rate 12.36 percent if you are going to get it on a quarterly basis let's say per annum it's a quarterly basis effective rate is 12.55 if let's say it's a monthly basis in that case your effective rate is equal to 12.68 percent everybody comfortable till here everyone easy this part following everyone so that is your interest conversion iconv stands for interest conversion you press second iconv you have the nominal rate the effective rate and the compounding per year compounding per year 